Hey everyone, it's Daniel from Knack here with a quick Knack tip. So today I wanted to talk about adding drop down menus to your page menu. So as you start to build your app, you're going to most likely find new uses for your app. Maybe you'll realize that you need different user roles than what you already have. And as you do that, your app's going to grow and you most likely will have more pages added to your app. Um, so as you do that, each page, each new page you add, um, we call these starting pages. So this is a starting page right here, and then you have a child page below it. But each starting page is going to, to automatically by default show up in your page menu. So here in our warehouse management app, you can see I have um, quite a bit of pages already. I have a couple for admin, I have a couple for um, the warehouse managers. And then if we go over to the warehouse manager app, I'm logged in here as a admin and a warehouse manager so I can see both pages and I'm starting to get two rows of pages, right? Um, this isn't too bad right now, but um, in the past, I have seen pages that maybe spill over into a third row or a fourth row, and that starts to get a little bit unruly. It's a little bit hard to navigate. So what we want to do is we can come in here and we can group common pages and we can add a drop down menu. So from the pages section of your builder, uh, let's just go and act like we're adding a new page, except instead of selecting uh, page, we're going to select drop down menu. And then it's going to open the editor to build your page in this toolbox over here and we can select what pages we want to add to the drop down menu. So let's see, so I want to make one for uh, admin. So let's do, let's put together products, inventory and suppliers, um, and let's do warehouses too. I'm going to hit continue. I'm just going to call this admin inventory, add page. All right, so we have our new drop down menu down here, and you can see what pages we have in it. I'm going to add a few more now. Let's add another one for admin. So these two pages are just around customers and their orders. So let's make an admin customers page. All right, let's add that. Uh, now I want to add a page for our warehouse managers right here. So let's come back in, add another drop down menu. Um, for warehouse managers, let's put together our inventory, our orders, inventory, purchases, um, and that should be good. Let's just leave that for that. Let's just call this um, uh, warehouse inventory. All right, so now we've added three drop-down menus. You can see they have a different icon than a traditional uh, page login page. Um, the names that I gave them, you can come back and change these in the settings at any time. I uh, just go to page settings. So if, if, if you wanted to change it, make it more specific, you can always come back and do that. Um, also, if you want to change what pages are included in that drop-down menu, um, just when you select that drop-down menu in the pages section, you'll see a checklist of which pages are included. So it's pretty easy to add and remove a page from that. And then let's check this out in the live app. So let's refresh real quick. That's our old page menu. All right, so we cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, we added three drop down menus. We have our admin inventory with our four pages. We have our admin customers with our two pages. And then our warehouse inventory with our three pages. All right, so that's just a quick way to clean up your page menu, adding drop downs uh, to your page menu. All right, thanks for joining and happy building.